Hello everyone, welcome to Sim Reviews and we are back with another video. In this video we are going to show you the new build of Windows 10 that is 10136 and that's the upgrade for the build 10080. Actually it's not an upgrade, you cannot upgrade your older build 1080 to 10136 because of the upgrade bug that has been creating problem for the Microsoft to um, solve it or debug it and also uh, it's pretty hard to so actually they released this new build uh, which uh, you need to uh, update from the Windows Phone 8.1 so if you're running any older build you need to roll back to the Windows 8.1 uh, using the Windows Phone recovery tool and then again upgrade it to Windows 10 so if you want to know about uh, when how the window how to uh, use uh, Windows Phone recovery tool you can uh, we have a video in the description below which would help you so let's just get started with this uh, build uh, you can see this start screen it's much more smoother uh, the scrolling and also the transition to the app list is much more great and the transition also looks uh, great as it turns to be dark and the next thing you notice is the search bar here uh, it, there's no search button now it's uh, it's converted to the search bar now so uh, it's good uh, you can actually you don't need to tap two times you just need to tap one time and everything uh, goes happens so let's just uh, also the app list now uh, supports this capital letters earlier it was small letters so let's just open first app that's phone app you can see here uh, you can swipe up easily uh, that's what and the beauty of uh, windows phone the one hand operation the same goes goes with messaging it doesn't support the uh, the swipe but also um, but supports the circular icons now and it look much more smoother than earlier uh, coming up with the overall build you cannot you still cannot hide this uh, navigation button you you would have you can do that in the earlier build that is 10080 but you cannot do it in this build one 10136 so it's pretty a drawback and next is the predicts button it's quite great i i can literally say that uh, it's great the build has now been uh, in this build the project Spartan has got much more uh, what it needs uh, you get this black black theme and uh, you get all of the hub that was remaining you get uh, the reading list uh, the recent you can you get your recent memory and all all of that and it's much more faster than the earlier build so overall it's a good uh, good for the operating system and it's pretty unique too in that uh, the black theme next is the outlook mail it's not uh, nothing new just some changes in the icons that wireframe style icons which um, microsoft has been following and i have what by the wireframe there's this big update in the camera that's this you see here um, here is the wireframe or oh, everything is just wireframe style icons you get all of that I really don't like this yellow color on the button but I hope they give uh, an update where you can change the color or it uh, remains same as the accent color and then after the camera uh, you get this music and film and TV so it's nothing new music icon has been changed now now it's just music not music preview and the video is now film and TV so nothing else much new uh, just mm, change in a name after the camera app comes the photos app that uh, the photos app is now uh, re not redesigned but the albums the albums now works and it works greatly so here's a you get this album uh, which works and all of that same collection and you also get to sort all of your all of your photo uh, if you want to go to the any any photo which has been taken uh, if you're remembering the uh, year or the date you can actually scroll down to that and you would be easily going there so a good change a uh, positive change in the in the photos app so next is the action center nothing new uh, just wireframe changes overall 
and when you swipe you get this you don't need to press that expand and collapse button just another swipe would get you all of your hidden action center toggles from here so double swipe uh, creates that and this is uh, let's just go to the settings and in the settings you get this new landscape mode and it's actually great you get this dual side uh, great uh, dual pay uh, dual pane view and here is the new toggle bar that's actually a good uh, change that uh, that's all about this build uh, it has been changing all of the icons ui the ui elements have been changed now so the uh, we have this uh, toggle new toggle buttons new landscape view and the next is next changes are in the same and now the battery server works greatly you can see your the battery usage the uh, you can see how much uh, the usage have been done uh, how much usage would you want to allow this app to be run in the background earlier it was not possible in the uh, earlier build and the next uh, change is in the update now it's for the developers you uh, the developer mode has been provided in this build and it's good for developers who are developing for the windows 10 apps and also here in the privacy settings there is this new background apps which says you which uh, which are the apps that would run in the background and you can control them uh, switch on or off uh, you can allow them or disallow them to run in the background and it's actually good another change i notice in the mobile and sim settings uh, you have two mobile and sim settings that's mobile and sim and mobile and sim legacy the older one so this is the newer one which contains the new toggle or the wireframe style uh, styling in this and that's all uh, that's all i found in this uh, build that's all uh, distinct or changes in this build also the color for store beta is now blue uh, and actually everything every app is now on store beta you don't need to uh, access much of your older store uh, same as this so it's pretty good build uh, overall I can recommend this build to everyone who wants to update to this new build but uh, <coughs> uh, this is still buggy but much of usable you can use it without any risk without any a flaw and you can use it as you're using your daily driver so i can recommend this uh build as a daily usage because it's much more fixed and bug as we are running it on the lumia 730 it runs great on it and we have no issues uh till we uh, we have using been using this from past a day and no issues noticed uh, neither the uh, unavailability of the app uh, which was uh, a that was the issue in the older build there's no such issue now and it runs great so i can recommend this build uh, for you you just need to if you want if you're running an older build you just need to roll back to windows 8.1 to windows phone recovery tool and uh, install this build and after you install you won't be able to use your build for 10 minutes uh, it would be stuck on the lock screen that's the post upgrade uh, uh, work done by the operating system on the workaround and uh, it's just simple don't touch your phone till around the next 10 to 15 minutes and you're good to go then so let's just end our video there's no conclusion it's all uh, the windows 10 is still uh, catching up and still uh, rising from where it started and let's just uh, end this video now so if you like the video do hit that thumbs up button if you have any queries and do write in the comment section below you can share this video with your friends who have a windows phone or something and planning to upgrade it and do subscribe for more such videos in the future this is sim reviews saying bye